American Asians have the best jobs, work the longest hours, earn the most money, and achieve the highest levels of education. So I wanted to know how. In my research, I found the productivity method. There are three main obstacles that usually make us procrastinate. Part one, overwhelmed. This happens when you have both energy and attention, but you lack time. How can you solve that? In 1997, NASA sent a rover called Sojourner to Mars. From there, he had two jobs jobs, to take pictures, and to send them back to Earth. But several days in, something went really wrong. A robot that was built for perfect efficiency started to procrastinate. How is that even possible? Apparently, he didn't organize his tasks properly and failed to send the photos back to Earth. After that, the big brain people at NASA reprogrammed it and helped him organize his objectives. And that's exactly what you have to do. How? By using the Eisenhower Matrix, a task management tool based on two key dimensions, urgency and importance. The matrix is divided into four boxes. The first two are called do and schedule. These are pretty self-explanatory. The third one is delegate. These are the tasks that are important but don't require your skill set, so you can ask someone else to do it for you. And the fourth box is delete. Here you place the distractions and the non-important stuff. You can pair the Eisenhower matrix with the next thing I'm gonna talk about. You see, Harvard University wanted to find out the best productivity methods out there. From their study, 100 methods came on top. From these 100 methods, time boxing ranked as the best productivity method of all time. But even with a good schedule, you can still feel part two, distracted. Here you have both time and energy, but you lack attention. How can you improve it? Let's learn from the most productive man of his century, the one who worked so much he forgot to sleep, Isaac Newton. We all think Newton was a natural genius, right? Well, during his school years, he ranked 46th out of 47 and was even encouraged by his mother to drop out and become a farmer. But then the Black Plague came around. All the universities were shut down and all people isolated themselves. There was nothing to do. With no distractions around, he discovered the laws of motion, then the laws of gravity, and then he invented integrals and differential calculus just to find out why the planets orbit as ellipses and not circles. Now, we also faced a quarantine in our lives, but we had so many distractions that it was nearly impossible to become productive. To solve this problem, we can use the dual process theory. Basically, there are two systems in our brain. The lazy system helps you act quickly without thinking and makes you choose the easy distractions. The analytical system solves problems and focuses attention. What can you do to improve the second system? Make the alternative feel less appealing. Here are a few tricks. A. Use an ugly font for your phone. Fun fact, Comic Sans is actually considered to be the ugliest font ever. It even hurts to look at. Now as a bonus, I guarantee you that you will never check your phone while you are with others because everyone would see you as a weirdo for using that font. B. Limit your social media time. I personally use an app called Stay Free. As you can see, I only give myself 9 minutes a day for Instagram and 19 minutes a day for Twitter. I can't unlock it after the timer goes off because of a challenge. I also block YouTube shorts from time to time. See, find someone to be productive with. In 1992, O'Donnell and Danzaro found out that students who study in pairs improved their performance by 30 to 50% over ones who study alone. Now, a specific thing that was used in this study was called the Proto-J effect. Basically, trying to teach someone a concept makes you understand it better. Plus, when you see someone who is working, you will feel guilty if you are procrastinating. D. Use the ultradian rhythm. Our brain naturally cycles through periods of high and low focus. These cycles typically occur every hour and a half. So after 90 minutes of deep work, cognitive performance drops, and your brain needs about 20 minutes of doom scrolling to recover. However, the analytical system requires a lot of energy, so you will feel... Part 3. Exhausted. In this case, you have time and attention, but you lack energy. This was Isaac Newton's crucial mistake, because in his peak productivity era, he only slept about four hours a night. Over time, this basically fried his brain. So you should optimize your sleep, because without it, you'll not only lack energy, but also lose a big part of the progress you've made. 
literally. And it's all related to the light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep cycle. Here's the deal. During the day while you are productive, the new information is temporarily stored in the hippocampus, a region of your brain. But he can only store the information for so long. So when you fall asleep, you first enter the light and then the deep sleep. Here your brain tries to store the new information into a more permanent place called the neocortex. Right after that, during the REM state, your brain makes connections between the new information and the old one. During a healthy sleep, you experience about four to six cycles every night. Why is this so important? Because right before you wake up, the final light sleep deletes all the remaining information from the hippocampus. So even though you've been productive all day, if you don't sleep enough, a big part of that progress will be in vain, giving you a sense of mental fog and exhaustion. But here comes a problem. What if you can't fall asleep? Well, there's a method that Navy SEALs used to fall asleep quickly in uncomfortable places. It might sound weird, but they close their eyes, then try to relax and think about each part of their body from their head down to their toes. Within two minutes, 96% of people usually fall asleep. The light is also a key factor that influences our sleeping routine. What I found extremely helpful is that if you change your phone screen to red, the brain will realize that it's time for sleep. But sometimes being productive is not enough, especially if we talk about complex learning. Fortunately, I have a video that will help you learn stuff three times faster than you used to. 